Welcome everyone. How's everyone doing today? <coughs> Happy holidays. Couple of weeks away from Christmas. Beautiful time of the year. Beautiful time of the year here in New York, even though it is a very different time of the year because it is 2020. Uh, 2020 has been a very exciting year to trade. If you've been following me this year, you've seen the kind of year I've had. I've been home a lot this year and I think that has had a lot to do with it. I feel like I've been very active this year. <coughs> Thank you. And so today we're gonna to talk about how you can make fast money trading momentum. For those of you that know this, some of you know this, some of you do not know this, I trade gaps. Gaps are based on momentum, okay? Momentum comes into a stock quickly and fast. So how do you make money trading? <coughs> Excuse me. You make money trading when you take a stock or the market in the correct direction and it moves big, okay? Otherwise, you're basically doing what's called scalping where you make a five cents, 10 cents, eight cents, two cents. I don't trade like that, okay? So what I do is really, it's gap trading, but it really is momentum trading. If you have any questions, you can email me at melissathestockswoosh.com or call me at 929-3200-GAP. You can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. And Kathy, if you can put my information in the room, you can email me if you'd like a trial to the room this week. If you are uh, want to pop in, just see what we are doing. Uh, feel free to email me for a trial this week as well. So what I've developed, which was a long time ago now, gosh, it's almost 2021, less than a month. It's gonna be 2021. Does anyone remember what year was that? Was it 1999? Was it, yeah, I think it was. Was it 1999 or was it 1998? I forget now. <laughs> we thought that all the computers were gonna crash. What year was that? Does anyone remember? I remember because I was working for the bank that year and they were all, everybody concerned. <laughs> Everything was gonna crash. And, and now here we are, <laughs> it's 20, 20 years later and dealing with a real crisis, okay? Not a, not a, a potential crisis, a, a real crisis, which is still COVID. But I started training 12 years ago, and over the course of three years, I developed my own system on gaps. It is a rating system where I get up in the morning and I rate the gap, okay? And let me go back to my charts here. Hold on one second. Can you see the cues? I just flipped it back. Can you see the, I have it on a chart now instead of the PowerPoint. Let me know if you can see it. I keep saying this word gap. For those of you that don't know what a gap is, I'm going to show you here, okay? This is the Q's back 11.9. It closed at 288.59. Then the next morning it gapped down it opened at a lower price, which was 285.26. So this is a gap. This is a bearish gap. Then it closed here, 283.42. Then it opened here, 285.92. This is a gap up. So there are gap downs, there are gap ups. Got it? So a gap, all the gap is, is the difference between the close and the open. This is the close, this is the open. This is the close, this is the open, okay? So you have gap downs, you have gap ups. Got it? Let me go back. So how does the Golden Gap 26 point rating system work? This is a system that I developed in order to determine what stock to trade each day and in what direction. Because again, going back to what I was saying initially, that's how you're gonna make money. For example, if you were short the, the, the cues today, we gapped up and we rallied. I did not go long the market today, but theoretically you could have. And if you did go long the market today, you would have made money. If you had shorted the market today, you would have lost money, okay? So it's important to find the quality gaps and it is also important to take them in the right direction because if you take them in the wrong direction, you're gonna lose. 
Uh, many people have heard of gaps. Not a lot of people know how to trade gaps. And then when people start to do them, they move very fast and quick. And then people sometimes lose money trading gaps because they do them in the wrong direction and then they don't understand them and they kind of give up on them. And the reason that I think gaps are so powerful and so profitable is because they move fast, which we're talking about today, and it's because of the momentum in them too. So how my rating system works is I get up in the morning and rate it in the morning in the pre-market. So again, what is a gap? A gap is the difference between the close and the open. Simple. That's it. Okay, there are many, many, many things that gap each day. So it is about qualifying it, picking it down, picking it down, 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 down. And that's why I look at 26 things. That's a lot of things. I'm kind of a perfectionist. Okay, like if you opened up my cabinet in my bathroom, all of my nail polishes are lined up. Every single color in the rainbow all lined up orderly in a row. So that's you know, if I could come up with 126 things, I probably could. 26 things is a lot though. And really, when you're getting up and you're getting ready to trade and you're risking your own money in the market, you don't want to lose. You want to win. So you have to be that picky. You, uh, you have to be really a perfectionist about it. Any questions? I see Frank just signed in late. We've already started here. So we're talking about gaps. Now, what, what occurs when a gap occurs? Well, gaps equal shock. Shock that happens, boom, out of nowhere. It's unexpected. That's what shock is. Oh my gosh, like right now, right now today, um, I'm trying to think of something. If, if I get up tomorrow morning, and it was 100 degrees outside in New York after it was 36 degrees today. I would, I, that would be shocking. Oh, my gosh, it's 100 degrees. Woo. I, we, we, every New Yorkers would be shocked. Okay. If you were in Florida and you got up and it's snow tomorrow, that would be a shock. Oh, my gosh, it's snowing. It, it gets that hot in New York. It does. We've had those kinds of days in the summer. Humidity feels like over 100. But that, again, would be shock. So in reference to stocks, something happens that's unexpected that creates shock. Then when you get the shock, then that equals what? Panic. Oh my God, what do we do? It's snowing. And this is, I'm pretending if you live in Florida. Frank lives in Florida. He gets up tomorrow, he's shocked, it's snowing. He panics. He was supposed to play tennis outside today. What does he do? All of his plants and flowers outside, they're going to die now. He had no idea it was going to freeze overnight. It did. It's snowing. He panics. What do I do? I don't even have a snow shovel, he says. I can't drive anywhere. They didn't plow the roads. Okay. See where I'm going with this. So with a stock, you have shock. You have the gap. You have shock. And then you have panic. Oh my gosh, what should we do? Should we sell? Should we go long here? I don't know what to do. This is unexpected. I have no idea. And then you panic or people panic. People panic in stocks. People panic that are in positions in the market. Okay. Or they panic if they're not in it. <clears throat> There's something called panic buying uh, that happens too. So then you have the panic. Then what happens? The panic equals volatility. Volatility, everyone thinks volatility means falling off a planet or selling. No, volatility is anything that is not what you expected to occur. So volatility could be to the upside. Volatility could be to the downside. Volatility doesn't necessarily mean selling. Market was volatile when we had all the tariff things that were going on in 2018. No. Volatility is anything that happens that's unexpected as a result of panic, as a result of shock, as a result of what? The gap. Okay. You with me? So the volatility equals what? Momentum. It's a big move. Again, this big move can be up. This big move can be down. Either way. As a trader, as an active trader, you can go long, you can short. You can buy calls, you can buy puts. 
The momentum, the big, big move is what equals money and that is your goal and that is why you trade and you can't forget it and that is why you do this. You do not trade to keep yourself busy during the day. You do not trade to not lose. You do not trade just for the hell of it, just to go to free webinars, just to talk to your friends at night, just to watch videos, do whatever. If you do this, you must have as your goal, your goal is to make money. That is the reason you do this. That is what you should be doing. I hung up with a student earlier today before the webinar who's in a great trade that I called. <clears throat> she was going to get out of it by the end of the day. I said, why? I just called it. It's only up a little bit. It, it looks great. You didn't do this to break even. You did not do this to make a little. You did this to make money. This is a good trade. It looks great. You got to stick with it. Okay. So sometimes I think people forget the purpose of this is to make money. And I think one of the reasons the traders forget is because they lose money trading for so many years for so long or don't make it that they forget that the whole reason the purpose they were doing this was to make money in the first place. Go back to the basics. Why you wanted to do this from step one, day one, okay? Any questions here so far? Everybody with me? So I develop one system based on gaps, and that is the easiest way that I can explain it step by step by step by step, what I just went through, why what I do works to make money, which is the last thing, which is the goal and the reason you should be trading. Okay, makes sense. And you can't forget that. And again, this isn't about piggy targets. We're going to review some tr some recent trades here today. This is about chunking it out, I call it, where you take a trade, you get out. You take a trade, you make money, you get out. That is the purpose of trading, to chunk it out. Okay, I call it chunk it, but, you know, it's pulling money out of the market. This was a nice day trade we did last week. It was in a gap. The gap was in CRM. This was a day trade. This stock had earnings. Let's take a look at what it did. It closed here and then it gapped down. So it closed at one price, opened at a different price, fell. We shorted it, okay? The entry here was 223. 1,200 shares was an advanced trader risk, 2640. I took more of it. Why? Because it was really, really good. I knew it was going to continue. At 222.50, actually pulled my price down, took more shares of it. Beautiful move. In fact, I'll pull up the one minute in a minute. Exit to 1965, $8,040 in one day in one stock. Now, this is a stock that can have big moves. So this stock can move four or five, six, ten dollars in a day if it wants to. You can see this bar over here. In fact, let me pull it up. Hold on. This was last week. Gosh, every day feels like it's the same now anymore in quarantine. It was Tuesday. Tuesday. We also did an option in this too. I didn't put that in here, but here's the Tuesday. So anyways, you could have done this initially out of the gate. Boom, got out. And then we also did a trade in here that fell. Boom. So in a, in a day like this, here's the day before up here. This was the night before, before the earnings reported. This was Monday night. Boom, open in the morning here. Again, could have done it in the morning. Could have done it later in the day. Either way, this is a short. I go over here to the daily again. Here's the bar. So this is a day trade. This closed here, this gap down, boom. So what do I do? How did I know this was a short and not a long? Because I rated it using my system. I could spot then, based on the 26 point, points, that the stock was going to continue to fall, sell off, and that it was a short, and that it would have momentum. From the tip to the tail, this was basically almost an $11 move, $10 plus. High was 226, low was 215.63. I don't go into anything in the open, but just to show you the extension there. Okay? Everyone see that? This is Salesforce. Now, 
going back, we also did big. This was a nice trade. This was another day trade. Just to show you the difference in the price points, CRM was more expensive, over $200 a share. This was a little bit less pricey. When you day trade, you trade on margin. If you do options, you do not need margin. You can trade options with a cash account. <coughs> and if anybody has any more questions on that, feel free to let me know. The entry in this was 48.50. Shares was 2,500. Risk was 28.75. Exit was near the whole number, 48.05. This is a small baby trade. Just to continue, I'm going to pull up this chart for you in a minute too. $1,125. Again, here is the gap. Stop close to your gap down. Boom. Fell. Joom. There it is. This is the daily. Now I'm going to show you what this looks like over here too. Oh gosh, look at this today. <laughs> wow, this really fell today. Nice follow through on that. Anyways, this is the big. This is, we did this Friday. Look at this today though, beautiful follow through. This was a nice gap. So here's the selling, 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 selling. This is into three o'clock, boom, 315. This went down to $47. Low was around 46 and change, see this? So again, you could have done it quick here in the morning, got out, or if you held that trade all day from that initial entry I called in the live trading room, you could have made another dollar because I got out around 48, went down, broke 47, see that? And this looks really good today. I didn't even look at this today, look at that. Any questions? Again, big was a gap. It is important to find quality gaps. And that is what I do in the morning. Now let's talk a little bit more about volatility. What is volatility? Volatility often refers to the amount of uncertainty. It's again, that scariness. Oh my goodness, it's the, oh, it's crazy, okay? It, this means that the price of the security can change dramatically over a short period in either direction. Again, as I said earlier, volatility doesn't necessarily mean selling. It means an unexpected direction either way. Okay, and it means big fluctuations, dramatic fluctuations, and that tends to scare people because they weren't anticipating it going in a certain way and then it does. Do you follow me? But if you know how to play it, you can make a lot of money. So what do I mean by volatility? Big moves, momentum moves unexpectedly, resulted by what? Shock, panic, and the gap. And it's not confusing if you know how to read it correctly. So I'm reading it correctly by reading the gap. I'm reading the price action. That is how I'm predicting it. And I'm doing all of this in the pre-market. That's the genius of the system that I do. I'm not making these decisions willy-nilly on the day. I'm doing it in the morning, early. Okay. Any questions here so far? Everybody with me? Now, sometimes I do options. This was an options trade in Facebook. So this is a daily chart. Facebook has been rallying. Actually, Facebook had a rally today. Today's December 7th. But last week on December 1st, the stock gapped up. You see the time of the day here was 8.02 in the morning. So on the Gap Options newsletter, it's a newsletter I offer for people that want to sign up for it on an annual subscription. I use my same system to call these trades, but these trades are not in the live trading room. They get emailed to you. The trades earlier that I called uh, in the big in the CRM, you would have had to be in the live trading room to get those calls. But this was very reasonably priced for a stock that's over this price point, $4.80. One contract would have cost $480, okay? Two contracts would have cost 960. This is a this is a typo here, not 9,600. This is the advanced risk. 960 for two. And again, when you take a certain risk, you're looking to make what? One amount of the risk. So this was a good options trade. It was to buy the 280 calls for Facebook 
that expired last Friday. Now, let me go back to the chart here. I called it in December 1st. Here we go. Stock closed here, gapped up, took off like a rocket. This was a nice trade, ran up. So in this case here, whatever you would have risked, one contract or 10 contracts or however many you wanted to take, you could have doubled your money on it. And that is a good trade. And why? It rallied, flew through the strike, which was two, 280, and ran up. This really did go to the dream target, which was almost 290, made it there. Close. Okay. In one day. So that is an options trade. How did I call this at 8 o'clock in the morning based on the gap? This is a bullish gap. CRM was a bearish gap. Big was a bearish gap. This is a bullish gap. This closed here gapped up. Okay. So this is a call. Again, you determine your risk based on what you can afford. If you're not sure and you have questions, you can always ask me. I have this much money in my account, Melissa. What do you think? All right. Also, that was that same day here. The first I called the market. Market closed here. This is a QQQs, the daily. Gapped up. Rally. Boom. This doesn't look like much, but it was a nice trade. Again, December 1st, 8 in the morning, 302 calls. What does that mean over here? I called it snug as a bug right at the strike. Poof. And then it took off. Market actually rallied all last week then into the end of the week. This was pretty cheap. Cost was $2.25. Sold at $2.25, so you could have made $2, whatever you risk. So if you had risked 35 contracts, which cost $78.75, you could have made $7,000. This is exiting this trade on the same day. You take it, you get out. You take it into the open. You can't take options calls before the open, okay? If you took three contracts, you would have risked $6.75, sold it for $600. So again, these trades are emailed to you. You take them when you get them. Unless it's in the pre-market, you take them into the open, okay? Now, this was another gap we did using my system, which is based on what? Momentum. Predicting the momentum, predicting the direction, playing on the volatility, playing on the shock, playing on the panic, playing the gap. This closed here, this gap down. This closed up here around 476 and change, boom. Open in the morning around 430 and whatever, fell. This was a short, we also did puts in this. So this was when we did a day trade and we did a put. When I call the same things in both, uh, the two things, an option and a day trade in the same stock, it's a good one. I always tell everybody, those are the days you wanna do it. This was an this was expensive to do on margin, but it was a beautiful trade. Entry was 428.25. Stop was 434.65. 600 shares was 320 to uh, 3200 risk. So you could have taken 100 shares if you wanted to. Again, this is not a cheap stock to trade, but you could have done as an option. I did call an option in. I'll show you in a minute. Eggs was 411.85. So you see, look at this. Talk about momentum. Talk about volatility. Talk about fast. Something goes and drops like a brick. Almost $20 in one day. That's big people. 600 shares and you could have made over nine grand, almost $10,000 with only 600 shares. How? Why? The power of the gap. Getting this at the right place. Getting this early enough before the sell-off came in. Getting this before this fell off a planet, which by the way, it did. It did. Okay. And that wasn't even... Anywhere near the low of the day exit. Fell further. But that was 12.1. I called the 4.10 puts a little bit after, an hour after the end of the open, because I saw what was going. These were a little bit pricey, but still, one would have cost 1,025. Bought it for 10.25, sold it at 17. You could have made $675 on one, or 5,400 on eight. So you could have done this as a put too, if you didn't want to do this on margin, okay? Again, going back to the daily chart, this is a beautiful move. So I tend to do trades and get out in the morning, but as you see here, this rock and rolled, continued, broke that 411 from the morning exit, broke 412, 411, 410, fell, 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 
The next day it actually continued lower. You could have still been in the put, broke 400. Very nice trade. No matter how you sliced it, and whether you shorted it as a day trade or did it as a put. Again, I'm figuring all this out before the market opens. What I want to watch, making my watch list, rating the gap. I'm predicting that the volatility momentum is going to come in based on the gap itself. I see the gap. I'm not predicting the gap. Okay. Actually, let's look. There's a gap tonight live that I was watching. Let's see if it came out. I'm sure it did. Oh, here, here's one that's happening live. This is a gap. This is Stitch Fix had earnings tonight. It looks like it's a, it's gapping up. Does everyone see this? It's at four. You see this price here? I know the chart's moving weird, but that's because this is after hours. This is at 49.11, 49.24. Wow, that's insane. Look at this. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with this because between now and tomorrow morning is like an eternity as far as the market goes. This may not look anything like this here tomorrow. Could be up, could be down, could be at a different price, but tomorrow morning I will rate this to see if I wanna go long it or whatever I wanna do with it. I don't know, okay? But this is a live gap. So I figure out all this stuff in the early, early morning, okay? And again, this is another reason why fundamentals is not what I focus on because at the end of the day, you say, oh, COVID, COVID. You probably wouldn't have thought that based on fundamentals that that would have been up tonight. You know? So I look at the price action. Do not follow the fundamentals. Let's take another one, nice one here. This is Apple. Apple rallied today. We did a call in this, closed here, gapped up rallied we bought options in this this was apple you could have done a day trade too we bought the 121 calls that expired last week this was last week's trade on a tuesday got in got out this was really cheap a dollar 60 50 contracts cost eight thousand sold at three again you flip it around almost 100 percent take it get out boom same day trade again five contracts would have cost you 800 sold at three could have made 700 bucks nice trade Again, 904, I sent this out in the pre-market, okay? Right before the open. So you can make money trading gaps with day trades or options. The philosophy is the same thing. The philosophy is that I am trading the gap after I rate it, using the 26-point rating system to determine if it's going to have buying come in or selling, and also to determine based on the quality of the rating if it's going to have a big move, if it's going to have momentum, if it's going to have volatility. All of these things are important because what? It's important to make money. You will not make money if you do a stock in the wrong direction. You will lose, okay? So I do just one strategy whether I do it for day trades or options, but when you think about returns, where could you go or what could you do for a living or what bank could you invest your money in or put your money in that you could flip your money around 50% every day, let alone 100% every day? It's impossible, you can't do it. If you put your money in a, in a certificate of deposit now for two years or five years or a money market, you're earning less than 1% over, the, over years. It's completely in, ridiculous right now. So you can really get your money to work for you a lot better if you learn how to trade. It does involve you taking active steps to take the trades and learn how to do it. But if you have money just stuck in the bank, it, 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 I mean, honest to God, it's not much more difference than sticking it under your mattress, to be honest with you. You just can't earn any interest investing in normal bank deposits anymore right now it's just the way that that things are right now and it was it, it's become worse over covid but we're starting to shift i'd say early this year even any questions here so far any questions 
Anyways, let's talk a little bit about what is conviction. Conviction is the thing that I use to determine how much I want to risk, how long I want to hold the trade. I have to believe that the trade's going to work, otherwise what's the point of doing it? And I think a lot of people trade and they really don't have any conviction at all. And I say, how is this person trading when they don't even know what they're doing? I did a little video last week, stock switch tip of the day. Don't go long and short the same stock the same day. I did a mentoring session with, it, with someone and he knows better. He went long and short the same stock the same day. He's lucky he got out of it without a loss. He ended up getting out of it with break even. He was just lucky. You, you have no conviction when you're long and short, long and short, long and short, long and short, okay? The trades we just reviewed, the trades from the last week, you can't be flip-flopping these things. Conviction is boom, okay? It's not wavering, not changing your mind every other tick or bar or one minute or looking at the market. And what really does it for me is the rating system. The rating system, the 26 points, my system, determines when institutional money is coming in to buy stocks or sell stocks. And that is what I'm looking at. That's what helps me get the conviction. That's what helps me take the train. How do I know that Zoom is going to fall off a planet? Because I'm seeing that selling's coming in. How do I know that Apple's going to rally like it did last week? Because buying's coming in. It's institutional buying or institutional selling. And it steps into the stock like a big footprint like an animal, boom, like a bear, and it comes in, and you can't play against that. If you play against that, you will lose. The bear will take all your money, okay? You have to play with it, and the key is reading it before it happens, so you get in before the momentum happens. If you want to short zoom at the low of the day, how are you going to make any money? Do you know what I'm saying? Any questions here so far? So day trading is not investing. Whether you do options or day trades, the equity trades, it's, it's, it's producing income in out. Boom, you take it. Take the train, book it. Take the train, book it. Okay? You're taking money out of the market in daily fast moves. And that is the key. Fast is the best for me. One of the things that most day traders forget is that this is not investing. This buy and hold concept, I think people learn and they like swing trades and they like to do it. And I never learned like that. I never was taught like that. I never got into that mindset. And that's probably one of the reasons I'm very good at fast trades and what I do. I never went down that road. But I think people start out, they start out focusing on swing trades and those kinds of things. And then they kind of get into that mindset. And it really does them a disservice because when you're trading, this is income generation. You're looking for the daily move to get in and get out. And that's it. And for me, it is about the focus. The focus is the gap. Remember, the gap. You have the shock, you have the panic, you have the volatility, you have the momentum, and that's how you have the money. And the focus has to be the money. But the gap takes you to the money. It pinpoints you to the money because it's pinpointing you to the right stock to trade that's going to have the volatility, and the volatility brings in the momentum, which is how you're getting the money, okay? One of the reasons that I've read the market so well, particularly on television and many stock calls I've given just for free that I've talked about information on Ameritrade and many other places I've talked on is because I'm reading the gaps in the market. The market has been volatile this year. People think it's going down, then it goes up. People think it's going up, then it sells off or stalls. We've been in a sideways range now, really in a very tight range for quite a bit of time. Yes, we made new highs today, but you have to get up every single morning and look at the gap to determine if it's playable. Some days you don't do anything at all. We didn't do the market today. We left it. I might change my mind tomorrow. Every day is a brand new day, and every day I trade something different, and that makes trading exciting, and quite frankly, it makes it fun. I never know how much money I'm gonna make in any given day, and I don't worry about it. I just follow the system. It takes me where I need to go. I have the conviction in it, and that doesn't mean that every trade I take works. Some trades I take lose, but I know that I'm gonna win far more than I will ever lose, so that helps me continue to take the next trade and the next one and the next one. And that's how you do it. And then every once in a while, you have a big one. You have a big one like Zoom. Okay. Any other questions here so far? Quiet group tonight. 
Anyways, is share size is something that you need to focus on, particularly if you have a small account, but you should focus on it if you have a large account because every trade you take should have similar risk or almost the same risk. That's just standard. I'm going over this though, but it, it seems to me very basic, but many people don't do that, okay? I said this to Frank earlier. Frank, I don't know if you're listening. I said, if you pick an amount, 250, 250, 250, 250, that's what you're doing, every trade. You can't take $250 in one trade, $1,000 in another trade, $500 in another trade. No, it has to be $250, $250, $250, $250, okay? And that will determine how many contracts you take. And it is not an exact science. Sometimes you will risk a little more. Sometimes you will risk a little less. That, again, is normal. It's just, it's just striking the right balance. Now, let's say your goal is to make $1,000 a day or twenty grand a month. It's totally doable if you look at it in increments. I think people get overwhelmed. They get upset if they lose money on a Monday. They think, well, I didn't make $1,000 now on Monday. I'm down for the week. I'm starting in the hole. I'll never do it. I'll never make my goals for the week. I'll never make my goals for the month. No, that's not true. You can take one trade and make almost $10,000 like I showed you earlier. It is. You have to live every day as if it's a brand new day. You get up in the morning, you have conviction, you rate the gaps, you have your list, you're ready to go, you take the trade, you set your risk accordingly, and you do it, you get out and you're up. And it really is that simple. At least for me, I've been doing this for a long time, but I make it easy for people because if they follow me, then they should find it very, very easy because of the fact that I'm the one that's saying, boom, Zoom is good. This is going to the dream target. This is not going to the dream target or whatever I happen to say in any given day. Okay. Um, any questions? Just forgot what I was gonna say. So, focus on the gap. Focus on volatility. And most importantly, you've got to focus on making the money. Not that it controls you, but you know, you have to want to make it, okay? I'm gonna talk to Frank again. Frank, I hope you're listening. I said, Frank, you are more concerned and worried about losing than you are winning. If you focus on losing, you will lose or you'll be so frozen like a jackrabbit, you won't be able to take any trades. And if you don't take any trades, you're not gonna make any money. You have to want to win and want to make the money more than you think about losing. My class, and we'll get to this at the end here in a couple slides, my class is a two-day class. It's this week and it's Saturday and Sunday. Two full days, eight hours a day. You get an hour for a lunch break. You learn my whole system. It's $7,000. People are so consumed. Oh my gosh, it's $7,000. How am I going to make it back? How am I going to make it back? What am I going to make it back? What am I going to make this back? You can make it back in one trade if you want to, depending on your risk. That's not the point of taking the class. That's not the purpose of taking the class. The purpose of taking the class is for you to learn a system to actively trade the market that you can make way more than 7,000, that you can make money for the rest of your life. I have been doing this since I developed my system, which took me three years, but I started trading in 2008. So it's almost 2021. So we're going on 13 years of trading and about three years took me, you know, back and forth till I figured out all the points. So for at least 10, I've been doing nothing but this. And I, I'm not, I don't do anything else. I've got all kinds of people to try to solicit me, just like people solicit you guys. This person wants me to do the Bitcoin and somebody says, oh, let's do this together, Melissa. I didn't, I had some big firm out in Chicago email me on Friday that wanted to pitch me something. I don't, I don't, I have no, Kathy, Kathy was here. Kathy's like, oh, this guy out and Europe and Germany wants it. No, I don't need to do anything else but this. I don't need anyone else but this. Uh, this is it, okay? You learn how to do this, boom. That's it. You're good. You can use it for options. You can use it for day trades. You can use it for swing trades. This system works. The only difference between, you know, A, B, C, D traders that are with me is their risk. Because if someone has a $2,000 account, they're not going to risk $8,000 to trade. They're not going to risk $2,000 to trade. They're not going to risk their whole account in one trade. If someone has a hundred grand in an account, obviously they're going to risk more than someone that has 2,000. 
So how much you risk will determine how much you make. But if you're good at it, then you can do it. And you can do it forever. And you can do options and day trades, which I really think is a benefit of doing both. I think the be best benefit, the highest benefit, the biggest benefit is doing both. Galahad's here. Galahad, I, 2021, I hope, is really going to be your year to really push it to push it to the next level, push it to the limit. Galahad's done both the day trades and the options. He loves the options. But at the end of the day, the day trades still, to me, are so much fun, particularly when you can make several thousand dollars in, in just a few minutes, which, which many of these ones here that I showed you were. It's just, you know... That, you, you, it is very exciting. And if you've never experienced that, I'm telling you, it's very, very exciting. And the idea of working from home, the idea of really being financially independent, it, it, it's just, not only has it always been something that's been a dream for many, many people, but in 2020, because of COVID, it is not just a dream for people. People are getting to the point with their lives. When I watch the news, which can sometimes can be so depressing, God help us right now. When you turn on the news, that you can, five minutes, you can get depressed. I mean, I'm almost at the point where I don't even want to turn it on anymore. And these business owners were all these states, like in California, they're shut down now again. New York, we never even open. I mean, people, it's not even become like a dream anymore for people to be financially independent and self-sufficient. It is starting to become a necessity. And years and years and years I've been lecturing about this, and people just have not believed me. But because I personally lived it, I lived it myself because for 17 years I did mortgages and I was on my own doing them. Basically, I worked for a broker, but I really worked for myself because I didn't get paid unless I closed mortgages for people. Some of them were refinances, some of them were purchases, but I had to go out and get the business. No one was feeding me any business, okay? And when the whole banking industry collapsed, that was 2007, 2008, this is a long time ago, I said, I vow to work for myself and to do something where I don't ever need to worry about anyone else again. And because the whole industry, all the banks and every, it was as if they were all falling apart, okay? And no matter how hard I worked, it didn't matter. I... I couldn't get deals done. Banks were so scared to lend money at that point then. After that collapse from 2008 then into 2009, 2010, they were so picky. Even, even today, we've really never gone back. Banks are just very picky today because I still have friends in the mortgage industry. And I said, you know what? My fate, my income cannot uh, be tied this tightly with, with an industry you know, that, that clearly was very greedy, mismanaged itself, didn't know what they were doing, you know. And of course, as taxpayers, we ended up bailing them out. But the longer you wait, the longer it is for you to achieve your own freedom you desire. And at that point, I knew it was important. And I've been lecturing about this for years. But people tend to wait till the worst thing happens where they're up against the wall. Don't do that. If you're employed right now, if you have a job, if you're okay, that doesn't mean that things couldn't change in the future. And, I, and, and again, I hope everyone stays stable, but what's wrong with making some extra money? You don't have to train full time. You can do this part time and you learn how to do it and you make extra money on the side while you have your full time job. Because what if something happens? Then you will be self-sufficient and you won't have to worry about something else because outside of your control, like the COVID like what's happening to many people. And not even COVID, it's really these governments, these states, the states, the governments, all these things that are happening all across the country and really all across the world where they're controlling people, it's terrible. It's terrible. So take it upon yourself to start to look into the future. Take charge of what's happening with your own finances with you. People get so caught up in something just like the cost of the class or blocking out a weekend to do the class, which I know it's two days and I know it's a weekend, it is well worth your time and well worth your money because it can really turn around your trading or if you've never traded before, turn around and open up all kinds of doors for you for something to learn how to do to make extra money. And I really think following me is the easiest thing. So be realistic. Have a plan of action in what you want to do. Yes, there are times when we make a lot of money in one trade, but it's really about chunking it out day by day by day by day. Somebody texted me last week. Who was it? 
Oh gosh, I forget who. Somebody texted me, and he said he he got out of something. He only made three hundred bucks. I said three hundred bucks. What's wrong with three hundred bucks? Three hundred dollars is good. What are you complaining about? Most people lose. Three hundred dollars is three hundred dollars. Be happy. Three hundred bucks a day is fifteen hundred dollars a week. That's good. It's money. It's three hundred dollars today. You didn't have it yesterday. You have an extra three hundred more. You know, it takes a long time to get where you want to be sometimes. And then sometimes it happens really fast, but you can't push it. Pushing it is not what it is. It's going day by day by day. So risking money may be hard, but everything has a cost. Just like paying for my class, just like learning the time investment, the money, everything you've been through to the point that you've even gotten to me if you've been, you know, trading before. There's a cost. It's like when you think about athletes. Athletes go through a lot. Look at all the hard work everybody did for the Olympics and then it got canceled this year. And now God only knows when they'll cancel it again because of this COVID nonsense. Athletes work hard. Their bodies, they put them through the ringer. People work hard to get where they want to be. Everyone wants to be a millionaire yesterday. Everyone wants to make $200,000 a year trading tomorrow. Yes, these are very realistic goals over time. You're not going to make it if you don't learn how to do it. Learning how to do it, making $300 first is a start, okay? So your dreams are very achievable with money, time, and work. I find that as I come across many people having the business for as many years as I have, sometimes people... You know, they want to do the work, but they don't want to spend the money. They have the time, they put in the time, but they don't want to do the work, and they don't want to spend the money. It's a combination of all of these things. And then it, and it just becomes easier over time. For me, it's so easy. It's so easy now to see what to do. And I'm not saying that I'm perfect, but I'm pretty close. I rarely get the market wrong. Rarely, rarely, rarely. And even if we happen to do it where I call it and it's wrong that second or that day, I'm usually right in the overall scheme of things. When I'm looking at the bigger picture, I'm right. And, you know, but a timing is a factor in the market. It's absolutely, absolutely a factor. And you've got to get the timing right. And for day trading, it's chunking it out. For options, it's chunking it out. I typically do one week options, sometimes two, but most of them are the weeklies. You can day trade options too if you want to. That's up to you. But it's really about making money and you have to take where you are right now. And then you got to move it forward. And Frank, I'm talking to you again because we had a conversation today. Everybody wants to be 10 steps ahead. Just start where you are right now. And then you go to the next place. And then you go to the next place. And then you go to the next place. I'll, I'll, I'll give myself an example right now. <coughs> I want to move. I've been wanting to move now this whole year. And not just because of COVID, I need a bigger apartment. Um, I've been focused on it for months, okay? And I found that I've almost become so focused on it that the timing isn't time, it's not time for me to move yet. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm not moving today. I'm not moving tomorrow. I'm not moving next week. I know I'm going to, you know, <laughs> I have to live in the moment now. I have to live in the moment now. I have to make myself as happy and comfortable in the space I'm in right now until I get to the next point, which is not right now. So sometimes we, we can't jump ahead and we can't push forward because we're, we're, we are where we are, okay? So I'm keeping the goal in mind. I, I see where I'm gonna be next, but it's not right now. So I have to focus on where I am right now and live in the moment and be happy here. And with your trading, you have to focus on where you're at right now make it better, set the goals, set the groundwork, learn a system so that you can make money so that in one week from now, one month from now, 2021, January 2021, you'll be where you want to be. That's how you set goals, okay? Any questions? <clears throat> Anyways, this is all about my gap strategy. One strategy a day, that's all that I do. And how do I do it again? I rate the gaps. I measure gaps by rating them in the daily chart to find the stocks to trade each day that has what? Number one, a high probability of directional bias for the entire day. A big move in the day. Early confirmation of the bias, preferably in the morning in the pre-market. 
And then I want the move between 9.30 and 10 at least to set up. I may hold it longer, but I'm trying to get the setup early. I'm looking for precise entries with follow through and a good risk to reward target potential. It is about chunking it out. Think about the bigger picture. I understand the class is $7,000, but it's an investment in your future because you're going to learn how to trade. You have to live in the present moment and keep your eye on the future and set your goals. I think too many people get depressed thinking they're never going to achieve their goals because they're not at that point right now and they feel like it's so far away. And every time they feel like it's so far away, they just keep pushing it farther and farther away. And that's not good. Okay. Before I know it, the time for me to get to the place I want to be is going to be here like that. It'll come upon me quick. I know it as soon as after the new year. So I'm taking where I'm at right now. <clears throat> and I'm going to use this time to focus on my trading, make money, enjoy the holidays. I'll be where I want to be next soon. Same thing with you. Focus on getting good. Focus, if you want to learn a new system, you can come to me. The class is this weekend, okay? Again, if you want a trial for the room, you can email me for a trial for this week. <laughs> it is all about gaps. This is the last class for the year. And you would learn the system in the class. The Golden Gap system is a 26-point professional bearish gap rating system. The purpose of the system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. This checklist tells you what to trade when and in what direction. The 26-point checklist predicts directional bias in a stock. And that's the meat and potatoes of it. One strategy is all you need to be successful in the market. You do not need a general overall broad-based view to make money. Many people know lots and tons of things and they're not making a dime. Or they're losing, or they're only making a little. People fail. You need to know how to make money. It's something I'm very good at doing. And if you've ever traded with me, those of you that know that Gala knows it too, you know I'm good at that. That's my focus, do you understand? Why do you think that I figured this thing out in the first place? I did it for myself, not for you. I didn't know any of these people, okay? I didn't even have the idea to teach anybody at the point back in 2008 when I started. I was doing this for myself, selfishly. That's, that's the best person to come to, someone like that. Someone that is focused on money and focused on doing it because the outcome, the goal that I want to see is, is that, is success. Is winning, quite frankly, being profitable. So learn how to read institutional money and price patterns and gaps and you don't need to do anything else because if your reason for doing this is to make money, this will make you money. So the class is called the Golden Gap Course. Last class for 2020, this weekend, December 12th and 13th, 9 to 5. Christmas is in three weeks. Okay, We will have trading before then. And then you'll learn this month. And then earnings season starts in January. So it's a good month to learn to start trading, practice, and then boom, January 2021 will start. Earnings season is a busy season. Class tuition is $69.99. Class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. Deadline is not November 15th. I don't know why that's on there. Deadline is December 11th. <laughs> My assistant did this. I have to fix that. Anyways, remember, this is an investment in yourself if you're doing this. Now, if you want to sign up for the newsletter, this is one year of the trade, $69.99 for all the options newsletters. That is not the trading room. That is not the class. You will not learn the system, but I'm doing a special one year free in the trading room with the class this weekend, which is a good deal for the normal price. Expires on Friday. Any questions from anyone about anything at all? Anything went over today? Any stocks? Anything you want me to look at? Kathy put my email in. Frank, I will send you the papers for the Gap Options course. I didn't do that yet today. Writer, ask for my email. It's melissa at the stockswish.com. I didn't even realize my YouTube is Miss She Who Dares Wins. How funny is that? I figured that out for like that was 13 years ago. I didn't even realize that's still my my channel, Kathy. How funny is that? Uh, Apple isn't doing anything exciting. I know. I'll look at Netflix. Nothing in Apple, no. This, 
this rally today. You could have gone long Netflix today if you wanted to. We did not. If you didn't do this here, I wouldn't wouldn't jump into this tomorrow. No, this this don't forget. Everyone is like, you you must be so picky about what you're doing. What you know? Again, we went long this market trades last week for one day. One day it was there. Okay. You have to be careful right now. It's, you know, we could go either way here. What do I mean? We could continue higher or we could drop like a brick. I mean, this, it's not earning season. There's no stimulus. As far as passing it, they're talking about it. You know what? It's a 50-50. I wouldn't put any money on it because you don't know what's going to happen here. And I said this on Cheddar. I mean, it's a 50-50 about the election too. Everyone has Biden that he's going to win. Really? Well, there's about tons of court cases, and a court case is going up to the Supreme Court that's supposed to, they have a deadline by tomorrow uh, in Pennsylvania. There's so many things outstanding here right now in this particular market. I mean, you must be picky with trains that you take. You cannot say, oh, boo de boo de boo You have to look at what you're doing. You have to choose wisely and not only that when you take something you have to get out when you're up now you know again the trades last week had the moves i'm not saying you take a trade and if it doesn't move you have to kill it like i said to the student earlier today you give it a chance to work but i mean you can't just be jumping everything you just can't be oh apple rallied today i'm just gonna take it and boo no nothing happened this today it, it wasn't even a gap up this open neutral and rally market made new highs so it rallied why it did i don't care this was not a gap up it was not a gap down it opened neutral just open and rally big what we didn't do it theoretically you can go back and say well it rallied yeah so i mean you could say that on any given day about a million things the idea of playing something and predicting it precisely where it's going to go in the pre-market before it does it that's what i do you could never have conceived this would rally today in the pre-market it didn't do anything at all Follow me? Um, hopefully that answered your question. Writer, you can email me. I don't know if you want to do the trial this week or not. Listen, have a great night, everybody. Email me if you have questions. And stay safe out there, people. Make a bubble and stay safe in your bubble. Safe and happy. Very good. <laughs> You're welcome.